hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Gunesh john so today i'm going to be showing us how to draft a dungaree pattern please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and let's get into the video okay so the first thing i'm going to do is mark my borders and then i'll take my vertical measurement which are my um hip length crotch length knee length and the full length so i'll show you how to do to get the crotch length up there so i'll drop the picture up there so i have two methods so it's either you go that method or you mark you tie a tape around the waist and measure from the waist to the bottom of the box that's the second method so i use both preferred me methods so the picture I just dropped, when you go around, you divide that by two, that's how you get your crotch length. So I'm just joining both lines, marking the border to join both lines together so I can have straight lines. And then I'm just going to stretch that because I'm going to do my front and back pattern on this same pattern paper. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my measurements, my horizontal measurement. So I'll first, first of all, I'll take my lap and my lap measurement is the round lap divided by two. So I'll just mark that on the crotch line and also mark, mark it on the waist, on the waistline. So I have 24 as my lap, so divided by two is 12. So I'll just mark that up. I mark that at the waistline and connect both lines together so I can see the lines I'm working with. So at that line, the lap line, I'll get my crotch extension. So this measurement is different depending on your body size. So I have it's 0.15 for the front is 0.15 times the hip divided by 4. So my hip, whatever your hip is divided by 4. Then at the waist, you go in... At that that line here there you go in by one and then you connect this together so once I get my front line out I'm also marking what I have at the crotch line at the bottom because it's going to be like a wide leg part wide leg pant so I just I'm going to reduce it a bit because I don't want it that wide so I'm taking two inches away from both sides of the bottom and then I'll just join that together. So now I'm joining my lines to get my curves. So this is this is giving me the crotch shape. And then I'll join that to that one inch that I have gone up, gone gone in by. Next thing I'll take my waist measurement from that one inch line. And then that waist measurement I stop at the hip. Uh, hip line I'll draw it from the waist to the hip line I'll connect it to the hip line and then I'll dip the front of the trouser waist by one inch this is just like for that manipulation it's just so you can have fitting around the front so I'll just dip that by one inch and then connect this line to where I'm going in by so just so that I have like a little slimmer palazzo like I don't want it that was wide if you want yours really wide go ahead and leave that all measurement without taking the two inches out or if you want to slimmer you can reduce it as well so depending on how you want your measurement so i'll just cut this all out and once i've cut it out i'll use the same front pattern to cut the back pattern the difference between the front and the back pattern are just a few measurements so the back pattern is usually bigger than the front pattern and longer a bit so i would explain when i am doing the back pattern so i'll just cut this all out and then place it on the other part of the paper just so i can get my back pattern if you want to start all the way from the beginning marking borderline by all means go ahead but I'll just cut this and use it to cut my back pattern. So 
okay so I'm placing this on the back and on the back on the main piece of fabric so I can get the back pattern so the first thing you do is to mark that from the waistline not not from the deep so I'll mark that up by two inches so the back pattern is two inches higher at the back than the front so I mark that up by two inches and then the extension the crotch extension that is times three of whatever you have for the front you can do times three what you have for the front or you can do 0 0.45 times the hip divided by four so you I'll mark that and then I'll, I'm going forward on this side by one inch on the on this curve I'm just drawing my curve together so it's my curve is not giving me the right curve so I'll just use my hand to draw that how I want it to look so I just make it at that point just one inch bigger than the front and at the waist one inch bigger so at the sides of the legs of the pants I just I put my two inches allowance on one side so that'll be at the inner side that'll be where my two inches will be I'm just connecting the lines so that I can have my my back pattern so now I'm taking my two inches at the bottom and at the top and connecting and then I'll connect the lines together so that I will have my bigger like bigger pants front usually the back pattern is bigger than the front pattern so I just made my I'm, I'm making mine two inches bigger on the top and at the bottom so I put my two inches bigger at both sides for the top and then for the legs I just put that all on one side and then once I'm done I will cut out the pattern and then and then I'll, I'll cut out the deep the front deep I did for the front I haven't cut I didn't cut that out because I wanted to, I want to use this pattern to cut out the back pattern so my paper keeps escaping <laughs> Okay, now to the front pattern. I'm just going to take the front and then cut out the pockets and cut out the front deep. So, first of all, this pocket is totally dependent on how you want the pocket, your pockets to be. So, I want mine 3 inches by 3 inches and I want a curve. So, I'm going to just mark that around the outer edge of the pants and then out from that from the top i'll now mark the front tip and then cut out my pattern so this is my front pattern once i've cut this all out that'll be my front pattern and then i'll just use this to go and cut out the pattern of the fabric so for the front of the dungarees i'll first of all i'll be taking out six inches from the full length so my half length is 18 so I've taken out six inches, which is which has made it um, twelve inches. So my dungarees is twelve inches long, and then at my waist divided by four is uh, seven. So I'm going to subtract one and a half from that measurement to give me the width of the dungarees. I don't want mine to go all the way to the to the end of the waist. So I just want it a little above so i'm just taking one and a half so that's going to give me um five five and a half so i'll take the five and a half on this on the bottom and then i want mine to look like uh what's that shape anyway it's going to be a little smaller at the top so i'm just taking 
out one inch from the, what I have at the bottom just so that it slants a bit just a little bit it's your it's dependent if you want your square make it a square so it's all dependent on if you want a rectangle make it a rectangle so it's all dependent on you and then I'm going to do for the back pattern my back pattern I'm going to make it more like a triangle it's going to be the same it's going to be a little shorter than the front pattern because this is this is where the rope will get attached to so I've taken out five inches from my from the front pattern so I'll just join that the width is the same but the length is different so my front pattern is longer but the back pattern is just a little bit shorter because that's where the rope will be the rope will be, will be attached to so I'll just draw that and um, draw the pattern and once I've drawn the pattern I'll cut that out and show you guys what I have So I'll use the same pattern I've cut out to sew the dungaree. I'll link that in the description box in case you want to see how I sew the dungaree or overall. Thank you for watching. We've come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And this is the pattern I have cut out. And I hope this was a helpful video.